In a previous video, I showed how you can derive kinetic energy starting with the definition of work and solving an integral. In this video, I am going to do something similar except that I'm going to use the Lorentz factor, gamma. By doing this, I will end up deriving an equation for relativistic kinetic energy, and a byproduct of this derivation is the famous E equals mc squared the energy mass equivalence equation. Before we start, there are a few things I need to state ahead of time to facilitate the derivation. The first of which is the Lorentz factor. Next, the velocity vector dotted with a velocity vector may be written as v squared. The time derivative of a velocity vector may be written with a dot. The momentum vector may be written as gamma m v vector. The force vector may be written as a time derivative of the momentum vector. One more thing to consider is that an infinitesimal displacement vector can be written as a velocity vector times an infinitesimal time increment. We will start by writing a work integral. Starting from here, the next step is to rewrite the infinitesimal. The next step is to rewrite the force vector. Next, we can pull out the mass. And then we apply the product rule and distribute the dot product. For the rest of the derivation, we now have to solve these two integrals. Starting with this integral, the first step is to rewrite the Lorentz factor and apply u substitution. Just to note that I added the prime to differentiate this t from this t. As we can see from the substitution, when t is equal to 0, u will be equal to 1, and when the time is equal to some t, u will be some final velocity. Again note that this is some final velocity. We now turn our attention to this integral.
Next, we make the use substitution. Again, we can see that when t is equal to 0, u is equal to 0, and at some time, t, u is equal to this. Now that we've gone through the trouble of solving these two integrals separately, we are now ready to add their results together. We took our first steps by first writing down a line integral for work. However, it's also the case that work is equal to a change in kinetic energy, which we have shown is equal to the above result. Factoring out the mass c squared, we can write this as, in this case, of course, t naught was zero. So this equation is analogous to the familiar equation of 1 half mv squared. Here are a few comments on this result. First, notice what happens to the kinetic energy as the object approaches the speed of light. As v approaches c, the Lorentz factor goes to infinity, which means that the kinetic energy of an object with mass approaches infinity. The second comment is that this equation is based on the two postulates of special relativity. The first is that physics is the same in all inertial frames. And second is the constancy of the speed of light. While this equation is based off of the special relativity's concepts of space and time, in the limit of slow velocity, we can recover the familiar kinetic energy. To recover the classic 
equation for kinetic energy, we use a Taylor approximation. Thank you for watching my video, and if you enjoyed it, feel free to give it a like and subscribe for more content.